In today's video, we're going to make a truly British recipe. We're going to be making all-in-one cupcakes and... Welcome to my channel. I'm Patty and this is my handmade lifestyle. I go by Patty Mac Makes everywhere online. Around here, we like to celebrate the analog in this crazy, freaking, mixed up digital world. If that sounds like something you also enjoy, then subscribe to the channel today, like the video, and hang out with us. It's fun around here and you'll learn some stuff. I have a lot of bakers that I really enjoy. I'm like a fangirl these days over bakers <laughs> the way that I used to fangirl over musicians. So times have changed for sure. The baker that I'm uh, paying a little tribute to today is Cupcake Gemma. She's a rock star in terms of uh, baking cupcakes. So. Uh, she shared her cupcake recipe and process, and so that's what we're gonna make today. And uh, I'm gonna come clean with you. The truth is, I've tried making these before. They were the worst things I've ever made in my life, and I was like, what is this? So I went back and I watched her cupcake masterclass video again, and I was like taking notes, and I was like, oh, I did that wrong, and I messed that up, and I messed this, so many things. <laughs> <laughs> and I always say to you in these videos that precision matters in baking and you know here I am just doing whatever the heck I want and guess what it didn't work her recipe is given as a British recipe because you know she's English so one of the big mistakes I made was uh, she calls for your oven to be at 170 C and I did convert it to Fahrenheit um, and then I just like round it off. So I baked at 350 and I baked too long. And um, the real translation from 170 C is 338 degrees. <laughs> so that 12 degrees over 20 minutes of time really made a difference. So uh, my oven, I have a digital oven and it's set to 338 degrees today. And uh, also, I uh, used butter that was too cold. I've been baking lots of cookies, and I find for cookie baking, if your butter is a little bit on the cold side, it's actually better. Uh, this is not true for cake. <laughs> you really need, um, it's a different texture, it's, it's doing a different thing, and so um, I have to make sure today that my butter is right on the money, and I'm not fooling around. I'm gonna take its temperature before I use it. And I know you think that's like getting like super, super picky. And uh, yeah, cause I messed up so bad <laughs> the last couple times I made these. We're getting them right today. So, all right, let's jump into the video and uh, get rolling. Okay, here's the butter that we're gonna use today. I've already measured it out. It's 125 grams. And this is how we take the temperature. I have this um, thermometer that uh, is like an instant read, <laughs> and this is what we're using. So we're gonna turn it on, There's the, and then we're gonna insert. And let's see what we get. <laughs> What's on Celsius? How did I do that? There we go. It was like 20 degrees, why is my butter 20 degrees? Okay, 67.2, that is actually perfect room temperature butter. We want our butter to be between 67 and 68 degrees. Let's check this other lump in here and see how it's doing. It's a little bit on the cool side. It's still down at 66, but you know what? Oh look, it's coming up, here we go. It's between 66.6, .6, so it's almost 67 degrees. Let's check over here in that little, can you read that? Let's see. There you go, 68.5. So we are right in the temperature range that we need to be. 
So we're going to use this butter. <laughs> and um, yeah, so room, room temperature softened butter means 67 to 68 degrees. So today we're on the money. Here are the ingredients that will go into these vanilla cupcakes. Uh, it's all measured out. It's ready to go. Um, over here, I have 125 grams of caster sugar, which is a super fine sugar. If you can find super fine sugar in your grocery store here in the States, that's the same thing. I found actual caster sugar uh, at my Harris Teeter, but I will tell you, it's not easy to find. This is all purpose flour and uh, it's mixed with one teaspoon of baking soda. This is 125 grams of soft butter, two eggs, a tablespoon and a half of buttermilk, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And this method is called the all-in-one method. And usually when we see um, cake or cupcake recipes, it's most often the creaming method where we put the butter in, we cream it with the sugar, and that's why it's called the creaming method. <laughs> this is called the all-in-one. And you're gonna see, we're just gonna dump everything in at one time. It's kind of, it feels so wrong. <laughs> it really does. But this is how we're going to do it. My first step is I'm going to uh, sift the flour right into the mixing bowl. I've already weighed it. It's 125 grams. And then I just sift it right to the bowl. Now I'm adding the sugar and the butter. It all goes in together. Then the eggs go in. And then we're going to mix this mixture for a minute and 30 seconds on medium. Don't over mix. And be sure that you stop in the middle to scrape down and make sure that everything is combined. This recipe uses so few ingredients and the mixing time is so fast, it's really important that everything is properly combined. Now I'm going to add my milk and my vanilla while the mixer is running on low. And then I'm going to put it up to medium and we'll finish it off. And this is how it looks. You can see it's a lovely light color. It looks light. It looks amazing, to be honest with you. And that's what we're going for. So now we will scoop this into our prepared cupcake tins. And for this particular recipe, you will get 12 cupcakes exactly. No more, no less. If you have less, then your butter was too cold and did not incorporate well into your mix. So that's how you, you'll know you made a mistake. And I know because the first time I made these, I didn't have 12. So trust me when I tell you, you want to get that butter right. And now we're going to check them and see how they're springing back. And I'm checking them right there in the oven and they're springing back beautifully, so I know it's time to take them out of the oven. They had about a 20 minute bake. Okay, I want you to see this. See how when I touch the top of that, it springs right back? That's how you know it's done. It's got this springy quality. Okay, cupcakes are out, they've cooled. It's the moment of truth. Let's see what we've got. As I was showing you, the spring back test is like super important, but let's unwrap this. Looking good so far. Okay, so it's golden brown, but it's not crusty. There's a little bit of a sugar crust on the top, but it's not like a heavy duty crust. And then when we open it, we've got nice airy sponge. Let's see how it is. That's completely different from what I made the other day. This, I, th I think we're onto it. So what we've got now is a nice light airy sponge. It springs back. This is what we're looking for. It's moist without being underbaked. So it's a Goldilocks cupcake. It's just right. 
Okay, so what have we learned? We've learned follow the darn instructions and you'll be rewarded with a wonderful cupcake that is moist and delicious and tender and exactly what it's supposed to be. Okay, that's all I've got for you in this video, uh, but don't go too far because coming up, I'm going to show you how I make the frosting to go with these cupcakes. And uh, I think you're gonna be interested in that. I'm calling them the, the 420 frosting recipe. <laughs> and if you wanna know why, you'll have to make sure you're subscribed to the channel, you click the bell so you're notified when the video goes up and you watch that video. Okay, that's really all I have for you today. I sure appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit about baking better cupcakes. And um, yeah, that's what I got. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.